morning, we learned that the plane was taken down by Iranian missiles. Tears of sadness became tears of anger. I have horrible visions of what their last moments were like. I've only seen Pedram smile, his laughter, and his jokes. So it's hard trying to avoid imagining what his final sights were. Were they seated together? Was he holding his little girls? Did they know what happened? Our community was in disbelief, but we were united. Every community has different factions, distinguished by many variables. But on that day and in the days to follow, we worked together to ensure that support was there for everyone. But we didn't do this alone. Our university, our city, specifically Mayor Don Iveson, our Premier Jason Kenney, and our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau were there for our communities. That support from all levels of government and community organizations showed us that nothing was nothing short of remarkable. That quarter of 1% of Edmonton was not left alone, and our city, our province, and country made sure of it. I received countless phone calls from external community leaders from across the country. I didn't feel alone, and our community didn't feel abandoned or forgotten in this tragedy. Growing up here, I always wondered what it takes for someone to leave everything they have and everyone they know to start a new life in Canada. In those moments, I realized why my parents decided to leave everything they had and everyone they knew to move us here. Today, when someone says, where's back home? I say, Terwilliger, not far from Anthony.